9.30ish, we'll be all be joining downstairs to listen to Michael Rosen, who will be accompanied by the uh, Dullstones, performing poetry and jazz. And including the Georgian group, uh, the Eastern Preservation Society, the Victorian Society, Save Britain's Heritage, the Society for Protection of Ancient Buildings. We've got some great names. As, and as you remember, Mary Wollstonecraft opened her Ills Academy in Newington Green in 1784 with her best friend Fanny Clark. And she wanted to teach the girls to be um, independent men, to be enlightened and, and, and to have an in, in, independent life. Sadly, her academy didn't last very long. She ended up be, uh, after that going to be a governess. Nevertheless, nevertheless she, she went on to greater things afterwards. It's all part of Hackney's history, but the fabric of this history has gone. The building. It recorded modest buildings then under threat, including several in Hackney, Parrot and Road, for example. Sadly, I did not include these. I um, wish I had. Um, it's, it's been um, a difficult existence, actually, for me, the, the last 40 years, because virtually every day I see something beautiful and usable destroyed in villainous circumstances. This is one of the most villainous stories I know about, actually. Also, I am a member of the Spitalfields Trust, and I'll get on to the Spitalfields Trust in a moment. Um, if, I, if I don't, someone will remind me to do it, but that we are involved in this. Um, Hackney is a case, isn't it? My God, you know, Tower Hamlets and Spitalfields uh, was, was a bit of a case. Hackney is amazing. This thing I'm holding here, it is Sunday, isn't it? Um, so it looks a bit like a Bible. It is an object. It is a Bible, actually. It's a Bible of the historic buildings of parts of Hackney. It's a, a volume of the Survey of London. But this, the history in this Bible, I'll pass it around, this history has been desecrated. Ladies and gentlemen, this history has been desecrated largely by Hackney Council itself. So every domestic building of historic interest recorded in the Survey of London has been demolished. It is heartbreaking to look at this, this this volume. I try not to look at it too much these days because indeed my heart is broken when I do. Charles Square, Hoxton Square, Queen Square, Hoxton Street, Pitfield Street, Curtin Road, the wonderful late Georgian early Victorian world of Nickel Square, Garn, all Garn. Nickel Square and the related streets went in the 1970s thanks to Hank Hackney Council. We saw the images about from the amazing North London Coliseum and, and, and Amphitheatre, 1886, I think. One of the great um, examples of, of, of Victorian entertainment architecture. We, we would lament the loss of, 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 of music halls. Only two are left in London now, as you know, Hoxton Square and Wilton's. Um, that was comparable, vast object. So Ian Sinclair. Beautiful, with tremendous history. Great. Fantastic. Um, moving and um, pertinent, you know, to, to hear what Dan has had to say and to to listen to Bill as ever, who's, who has become you know, the, the spirit of Dalston Lane in the big time, take, taken over from the older inhabitant, Patrick Wright, whose uh, journey through ruins sort of negotiated the moment for him of the collapse of the welfare state version. Um, and Bill has taken up this torch and, and, and really done... Made wonderful. up mostly of question marks um, to Peter Ashby, who I knew quite well, who's the Lisa Hackney's um, Shell, conservation who's officer. This inspirational, and I copied in a few amenity uh, societies uh, and Michael Rosen, who I knew had lived locally uh, for many years and had written on the terrace in the past. And then Emma Louise Williams, who's Michael's wife, came straight back to me, I was wow, um, offering a screening of her wonderful film, Under the Cranes, to help publicise the um, crisis. And within 24 hours, the Rio Cinema had donated a Saturday afternoon slot. We filled the cinema on 8th... Right, well, we're going to have a, we're going to have a short interval. Um, and after that, downstairs... There'll be, Michael Rosen will be performing jazz poetry with the Dullstones, and there'll be also some, uh, some of the younger members of Dullstone will also be playing. But before we have the interval, I just wanted to now introduce you to...
years old, you've got to imagine me living in northwest London in Pinner, and uh, my grandparents lived in Sandringham Road, Bubba and Zader in Yiddish, um, and they lived uh, just around the corner, as you know, in Sandringham Road, and the journey to get there from Pinner was meant travelling on the Metropolitan Line, from Pinner to Baker Street and then catching the 30 bus. Uh, but Baker Street Station for me as a child was a completely magical, wonderful place and I guess this one's really a little bit about celebrating the public spaces that we got. But I, I didn't know that when I was eight, but I just thought it was wonderful. Okay, here we go then. 1954. And someone else, not me, recites it in the film. And it's called Evening Falls Between the Trees, but it's, that's how it begins. But it's called London Fields. Uh, while we're thinking about that, I can introduce you to the band. We, we don't know who the band is. We've got on bass, we have Ali Friend. Do you remember Ali? Yes, I do. <laughs> on sax, we have Bill Perry Davis, who may be familiar to you. One more or another. I seem to be wearing a t shirt, t shirt, not a t shirt, a t shirt. It says on it, Say Dalston Lane. This is how it is. Say Dalston Lane. And again, Say Dalston Lane. Here we have Los Spire on the horn. Yes, indeed. Behind him on the battery, as they say in France, we have Jonas Gorin. And here on keyboard, taking the ivories, we have Ginny Strawson. not yours. There you go. And away we go. London Fields.
station. All day in the station. No wonder of Baker Street Station. Thank you. 